my star of the week is gonna be Charles Charles excuse Charles Dubrox Oliveira, champion of UFC two sixty two. So why don't we hop right into that while it's fresh in our minds? Because I know KB already forgot half of it. <laughs> so KB. What, what should we do first? Should I take us through the fight and then we talk about it? Or do you want to like have reactions? We'll, we'll, we'll take us through the fight first, probably, yeah? Yeah, talking about the fight. <laughs> Obviously. Talking about the fight. <laughs> Yo, two rounds. Two rounds. Build up to this fight. Honestly, I told KB before the fight. I said, like, I don't know who's going to win. And I like, I actually like both fighters. Charles, I just liked because of his story. Like, you know, like the win streak he had, how he started from the bottom as a young dude got better and better and better and became the guy that he is today and that you know all time UFC submission um and I recently heard this week a story that just like put him into a next level for me but apparently Charles still lives out in the favela with it with like the OGs like where he grew up he still lives out in the favela he takes his money home on some on some Sadio Mane shit and just buys people groceries, takes care of the people from his favela, man. And, like, once I heard that, no matter how much you think Michael Chandler is a good dude and he deserves it and, like, he's earned it and all that, you hear a story like that and you're like, damn, I really, I like this guy as a dude. I like him as a fighter. I think he's, as a fighter, he's exciting. And then you hear the story and you're like, damn, if this guy becomes a champion, the money he makes, he's the money he can people. take home to those people, man, yeah, he was, uh, is is the next. He, he just he he's gonna make ten times more money, because everybody knows when you're the champion, you call the shots. Of course, of course. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? They're gonna strip you of the belt because you didn't want to pay them. Hell no, nah. <laughs> hell no. Nah. They gonna strip you of the belt because they, you didn't want to pay them. They're gonna say like, I want to fight. The UFC doesn't want to pay me the what I the price I asked for, <laughs> and then what? People are not going to be like, oh, okay, sure, strip him of the belt. They're not going to be happy with that. They're going to say, UFC, pay him. Of course. UFC, pay that guy. Of course. So Get that bread. So, man, Charles Oliveira, I hope you milk that UFC money, bro. I hope you stay a champion a long time. Yeah. Because, hey, man, there's a lot of people who talk, who talk about things, who talk about things like, you know, being good people and all that stuff. And there's people who actually go out there and do that shit. And Charles Oliveira is one of those people, man. So I'm happy for him to get some money. You know, those are the type of people, people, you know, like, when when they succeed, you know that their success is not for themselves, you know? They do they do stuff for other people. They try to make the world a better yeah. place, bro. Yes, and, and, bro, to, 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 make a, to be a UFC champion, to be a, a UFC contender even before he became champion and have that ego in check to still be living, not move to the States, live at home where you grew up, bring some money home to your people, bro, like, that's... That's an, I, I don't know if I could do that, bro. I don't know if I could do that. Granted, I never grew up in a in a place like that. But I don't know if I could do that with the mindset I have now. Like, you know, some 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 people are selfless like that, bro, to a next next level and you can't have nothing but respect for those people, man. That's yeah, that's course. that's some real shit. That's not a foundation. He didn't raise money from other people. That's his money that he's bringing back, bro. He's been working hard for gang beatdowns and shit. Got to love it. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> He's been getting beat down, bro. That's how he gets his money. He has oh, to, true, true. He has to get fucked up to get his money. <laughs> uh, what you think I hey, said? <laughs> That's why they get paid. I, I heard, like, on some gang shit or something. Like, he got ganged. I'm like, what? What is this guy saying, bro? He's probably a, gang- like, he's probably a gangster, Loki. Nah, he's definitely not. Yeah? Look at the kid. Look at the kid, bro. He looks like a good kid. Oh, okay. There are some... There are some people, there are some guys who are gangsters, though. Like, Chito Vera, I'm pretty sure he's backed by gangsters, that guy. Like, I'm pretty sure the people who pay for his training and everything are gangsters. Really? Do you want us yeah. to fast check you right now? Yeah, you can fast check that. I'm pretty sure they are. All right, we'll look it up. Don't worry. I got my people. Yeah, yeah you can back check it, but, like, it don't matter. They can't fix the fight. They can't fix the fight, but, like, you know, it's kind of like... Like, like his money is going to them, basically. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. they train you, and then you go in, and whatever winnings you get, they'll make you a good fighter. You'll get out, you, you know, you'll make it somewhere. You'll mm. be famous and shit. But like, whatever money you make, they take a good portion of that. So of that's kind of how they move. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to the fight, real quick, two rounds. What a great fight! <laughs> you can even say like, yo, that shit was a great fight. That's some dope shit. Yo, two rounds. That's it. Within two rounds. Right off the bat, these guys are swinging. 
Charles Oliveira goes for a takedown. So Charles Oliveira, as I said earlier, uh, all-time UFC uh, submissions. So you don't want to be on the ground, and you especially don't want to have your back with Charles Oliveira. And we're going to get into that. So he goes for the takedown. That's what he wants. But what does Chandler have? Headlock. So we see a headlock right off the bat. We're like, yo, he's about to like choke this guy out. Facts. Nah, escapes. <laughs> Somehow ends up on his back. What do we see? Uh, I, I I might be skipping something, but we have we have him as a backpacking Michael Chandler trying to get a sub. Michael Chandler, boom, back time, back slammed onto the mat, bro, so <laughs> onto the onto up, the bro. onto the ground. I'm like, damn, bro, this guy could pop a shoulder, pop his spine, something. Nah, he's still there trying to get that submission. Michael Chandler escapes. Boom. They're on the feet. Michael Chandler rocks Charles Oliveira. <laughs> like, literally, KB was out here screaming, it's over. It's done. Michael, Ch- Michael Chandler has got this. Bro, he had him on bro, the floor done up, bro. He, had him on, he knocked him. He rocked him. He fell down. He was swinging at his head on the floor, but respects. Yo, honestly, underrated moment respects to the referee for not stopping the fight there for letting it continue because I think because it's a championship fight and he worked so hard to get there he kind of like he he let it slide I feel like if it was a lesser fight like not a championship fight he might have stopped it there yeah, that looked so, fucked up bro shout out to the refs because like like bro I was borderline too I'm like ooh this is tight this is tight when you were screaming he's done I'm like ooh this is close Excuse me, but Oliveira just does a little, like, you know, head dodge, head dodge, gets back up. We're like, whoa, what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. And then, um, I forget where the rest of round one goes from there, but we move on to round two. So right now, we just saw Chandler almost get a headlock from the jump. Oliveira almost got a a submission on him. uh, And Chandler dropping him on his back. (laughs) Chandler rocking Oliveira all in the first round. I'm missing some parts because it was really back and forth. It was like both of them were in trouble at times. It was an intense right? first round, though, for, for sure. It was ridiculous first round. Yeah. Second round. <laughs> My man, Charlie Vera, said, <laughs> Good night, sir. Bob Good Bob. night, sir. Boom. <laughs> Rocked freaking Michael Chandler with a right. Hit him again. Michael Chandler falls to the ground. Hits him with a few more. Bro, there were so many messed up moments. Even, you know, actually at the beginning of the first round, freaking Oliveira uh, leg kicked him right away and he I was fell. Na- Remember I was that? I literally about to say that. Like, <laughs> I, to me, I feel like that was my favorite moment in the fight, bro. That very oh, first kick. R- right away when he kicked him? Mm, yeah, dead ass. Oh, damn, bro. Yeah, that whole fight was crazy. Like, it was literally back and forth. Back. That's a main event right there. Dead that's ass. two elite fighters fighting for the belt. Like, that's a main event right there. That was great. Respectful that was awesome. fighters, too. Respectful fighters as fuck. They were so respectful for each other. Dap up, bow down. Yeah. Freaking, bro, before the fight even started, Olivier's out here dapping up Chandler and his whole coaching staff before they even fought. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even know if he's going to win yet. And then, <laughs> in the second round, knocks out Michael Chandler. The celebration, amazing. Jumps the fence. He's bleeding from his face, goes, goes, bends down into freaking uh, Joe, Rogan. Joe Rogan and DC <laughs> and all those guys on the desk bleeding all over their notes. <laughs> and he's like, surprise, surprise, which is what Michael Chandler said when, uh, when he beat Dan Hooker before this fight. And then my guy runs around the whole thing, goes, gives Dana White a handshake. He's bleeding on freaking Dana White's head, bro. <laughs> his blood is going on Dana White. Dana White's all there shaking his hand. Like, Damn, I made some money tonight. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that was a crazy fight. That's one thing I do love about Dana White, though. He's a fan of the sport, you know? Like, like he probably wanted Michael Chandler to win because for the money of it. Yeah. But then, like, um, Oliveira winning, like, he still knows, like, wow, that was a great fight. Like, you know, I loved it. So, um... Yeah, that, that guy just cares for his dollars, bro. That's it. Yeah, bro. That's so, it. Oliveira runs around the octagon, goes and hugs some mans on the side. Who knows? Maybe that's his family. I don't know. Like, jumps jumps back in, has the belt, he's crying, he's praying to God, he's talking about bringing it back home. Ah, oh, what a wonderful night. What yes, a great main event. Yes, Should sir. Should we love to see it. You, you have any comments on the fights, bro? Like, like how, how good of a, a... Is that one of the best fights you've ever seen? I feel like so far, ever since I started watching UFC, that was the best fight I've ever seen. Yeah? Like, What's yeah. second? The, that last Usman fight? Uh, either that last Usman fight or that last Ngannou fight. The Ngannou fight against Stipe? Yeah. Mm. That was a tough one for me still. Yeah. That that fight, in the last two years, the only one I think I could put over it that comes to mind 
is uh, well, there was the Kobe Usman. I don't know if that was within the last two years. And then there was uh, the one I was telling you about, Moreno uh, Figueredo, which yeah. is coming up as the second uh, second fight on the Izzy card coming up, right. UFC two sixty three. Yeah, you're talking about so, that. So that that first fight of that that uh, those two was ridiculous. That might have been better than this fight that I saw in the last like year or two. Damn. But uh, but this fight was amazing, awesome fight. Um, and yeah, like that's all I really got to say about it. How about you, bro? Yeah, it was straight. Mm. Tony Ferguson. So, yeah, so I want to talk about uh, Ferguson real quick. My guy gets dominated by Darius. He's on a three-fight losing streak, and all three fights he didn't look good in them. Yeah. I gave him the benefit of the doubt because he just fought like two guys who fought for the belt after him. The champion of tonight, Charles Oliveira, was his last fight, and before that he fought Justin Gaethje, who was the interim champ, and was the last person to fight Khabib uh, before he retired. So, oh, shit. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. So, Tony lost to Justin Gaethje. Yeah. Between to- Tony and Justin Gaethje, whoever won that, Tony was supposed to fight Khabib for the belt. And it got canceled twice. Mm-hmm. Once because Tony was injured. And then the second time because COVID started. And Khabib is like, I'm not leaving my country. I'm chilling here. Yeah. Um, so, the second fight got canceled. Then they did Gaethje versus uh, Ferguson for the interim belt. Gaethje beat Ferguson. And then Gaethje fought uh, Khabib. Uh, he beat Gaethje, retired, and then that brought us to this where the belt is vacant and we got Oliveira versus Chandler. Yeah. And Oliveira beat Tony Ferguson and then got the, to go challenge for the title and win it tonight. So those two other fights is kind of like, all right, bro, benefit of doubt, but then he just lost to a number nine rank, Darius, which is no slouch. He was a great fighter too. Sorry. He's a great fighter too, sorry. Yeah. But um, then it starts to kind of be like, oh, dude. So I think because... Ferguson still makes the UFC money. People are still fans of him. I think maybe they might run like one or two more. But if he doesn't win, it might be time to call it. If I was him, I would call it now, to be honest. I mean, he didn't look that good today, to be honest with you. So, motherfucker, yeah. motherfucker if you want to call it a career, just call it a career. It's okay. We're not going to hate you. Just just yeah. a simple advice from your boy, KB. You feel me? That's <laughs> it. Like, I feel that, man. But anyways, I feel for Tony Ferguson, bro. But might be time to to call that end to that um also a, a crazy fight i'm trying to remember who the it was uh, edson barbosa versus some other kid yeah. i just want to shout that one fight out the first fight of the the main card that where the kid got man. rocked and then after he like was still standing and all of a sudden his brain went <laughs> and then like he he literally went to go see jesus for like he went to go see jesus for like two minutes and then woke back up like what the hell happened like it was actually messed up he got hit with a punch they stood there in front of each other like this for a little bit and all of a sudden he went and backed up and fell down and he got two punches to the face while he was knocked the fuck out and lost what was that bro I want to just I want to name the name just so like I I know people who watched it know what what I'm talking about but people who don't if you guys can go if you guys can go watch this knockout, bro, it was dumb. Bro, that was insane. Freaking I really Shane, thought... Shane Burgos versus Edson Barbosa. And Shane Burgos <laughs> was the favorite. Round three, TKO. It was a KO, bro. That shit was nuts. Yo, I really thought he was going to stay, still stay. Like, he was going to stay alive. Bro, you, li- you you thought this guy fainted. <laughs> it was so was, funny. I thought he Give was me- dead. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy was like, yo, he fainted. That's not fair. How did he lose? He fainted. I'm like, he did faint, bro. The punch that he just got hit with finally clicked and he not got knocked. To be fair, yeah. I've never seen that before in my life. Yo, but that made, it was so no, funny, no, no. Kimmy. <laughs> that literally made no sense. He got he literally got a walk, a one, two, and then and then he stayed alive. He stayed alive and then he bro, dropped. Bro, do you know who's playing a lot in his head, bro? Stayed alive. <laughs> and then when he heard that, ah, 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 he was gone, bro. He was down, bro. Like, that was that. a poker face. That was that. I've never seen that before, to be fair. To be fair, I don't blame you. But that was so funny. KB's like, yo, that's not fair. How did he lose? He fainted. I'm like, no, bro. No, that punch from like like a minute ago just finally clicked in his head. And he was like, shit, I'm out. I'm out. This like, guy, this guy, this guy went to heaven, came back, bro. He's the second coming of Jesus at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear he was good for like a good 10-15 seconds bro he died bro. he died and revived on the third day bro 
Il est sorti du tombeau. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. That shit was so. Okay, it's not funny. I feel bad for it. That's kind of fucked up. No, I wouldn't was... want that to happen to me. Nah, no, it was a good but fight, though. It was a good fight. It was a great fight. Those guys were just like, fuck it. Concussions. <laughs> they were literally just like, fuck it. They showed up in the fight. Boom, 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 boom. Just hitting the shit out of each other's side. They did not get no defense. No defense whatsoever. It's in Barbosa. is like literally. Bleeding from his chin, he's kicking the kid, and the and he's literally painting him with the blood from his foot, bro. He's using his, you know, he's using his foot like he's Picasso on this guy, bro. I'm like, I'm you know. this side of shit. <laughs> bro, you know, he was ready to send, bro. You know what, bro? Bro, he painted him with his with his bloody foot like Picasso, and then he hit him with one punch, shipped him to the Louvre. <laughs> <laughs> he went straight to the Louvre. <laughs> they hung him up. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Oh my god, that fight was a, like for a first fight, it was good. Then the next couple fights, like nothing exciting. We don't usually talk about other fights in the main and the co-main, but that fight was a great fight. Sometimes you get some good fights in like the prelims or or some of the earlier fights. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but yeah, man, uh, that's all I really got to say about UFC. 